Hey, what's going on guys? It's Uncle Kobe, and today I have a quick little video that I was originally going to make closer to the release date, but because I'm going to be doing so much Halo 4 all next week, I thought I'd upload it before I forgot. So as we all know, and we all do, when a Call of Duty first comes out, we all try our very hardest to get to the highest level possible, and you know, get a really good lead in the leaderboard, so when all the Christmas noobs get the game, we just look absolutely dominant, and if you're prestiged by the time Santa squeezes his fat ass down your chimney, in my eyes, you are a Christmas noob, but don't worry, I have some quick tips that will help prevent that from happening. These tips are for right out of the box gameplay, things you want to know going into it before you have even played your first game. So these pro tips, as David Vonderhaar called them, were given to help you in your race to prestige. Now some of these are pretty self-explanatory and obvious, but a couple are actually quite helpful when you break them down. The first one, pre-order the game and you get a few days of double XP. You know, that's simple, straight to the point, but extremely helpful. For me, Nuketown 2025 is enough to earn my pre-order, but a couple days of double XP is just awesome. And you have to realize, the more you play those first couple days, the more double XP will help you. So yeah, if you play for an hour or two, double XP isn't that a big of a deal, but if you're going to like do 72 hours straight like me, that double XP is going to just be huge. So just keep that in mind, I know most of you have lives and enjoy seeing sunlight, but if you don't, definitely take advantage of that. So the next one is prestige the weapons you have success with. Each time you rank up a weapon, you get a small level XP bonus. And I know I kind of made a video already talking about this, but I leaned more to prestiging as many weapons as you can, but this tip that Vonderhaar gave us kind of tells us otherwise. It seems to me that every time you prestige the weapon, you get a small percent of XP bonus. So let's just say the first time you prestige your weapon, you get a 5% bonus for all the XP you get with that weapon. So instead of moving on right to the next weapon, you know, and getting another 5% bonus with another one, continue working on that same weapon, and maybe when you prestige it a second time, you get like a 10% bonus. Some of you may be like, well that might just get boring fast, you know, using the same gun. And that leads to my next tip, which is complete challenges and challenge sets. They pay lots of bonus XP. So in Modern Warfare 3, when you complete challenges for each gun, you didn't really get all that much XP for it. You know, you were just better off doing well in Search and Destroy to level up. But here for Black Ops 2, Vonderhaar says you get lots of bonus XP. And to me that word lots actually is a big deal, putting emphasis that, you know, hey, this is worth your time doing. And with how the game is set up, rewarding objective play, I would assume that the challenges mirror that as well. It's not going to just be like a certain number of kills. Uh, you know, it might be get this many kills while holding the flag, you know, get this many kills defending a domination flag, things like that. And this doesn't mean you're totally enough to change your play style just to level up. I'm just saying be aware of what challenges there are while you're playing, just in the back of your head or whatever, because with Modern Warfare 3, I had no freaking idea what the challenges were. I just got them when I got them. But here I'm recommending just, you know, be mindful of what they are while you are playing. So these next two aren't really tips, but this one really got me thinking. He says you need to complete Prestige 10 to become Prestige Master. Only Prestige Master won the race. You know, and it got me wondering, what if you're the first person to become a Prestige Master? You know, how awesome would it be if you got a one-of-a-kind title that no one else would ever have? Whenever you go into a game, kids are like, holy crap, Jay Nasty Support Moab 420 was the first Prestige Master ever. You know, I think that would just be awesome. You know, I don't have any info to back that up. You know, it's just more of a thought. But for all we know, you know, it could be a possibility. So this last tip that he gave us really only matters to people that plan on getting the game early and what he does say is don't post your stream before the game is officially released on November 13th. The race starts then and not a minute earlier. You know, so that's obvious. You're not allowed to post gameplays until it goes public unless you just go YOLO like me you know, and just try to cheat the system. But I have no plans of doing that anymore. But anyways, what interesting is he doesn't mention playing the game early because you know a lot of developers you know they all know you're going to get games early there's no way around it it's gonna happen but with Halo 4 even though I have the game early I am not gonna play it because Microsoft basically was like yeah I'm gonna ban all you guys that played it early you know and I know majority of those were not legit copies but still to me it's just not worth it however with Call of Duty it's kind of just like a tradition to get the game early you know and play with all the youtubers and people that annually get games early and Activision never seems to mind, you know, as long as you don't post or stream, you know, so that's good news, you know, for those who are getting the game early. Again, I'm still not sure if I am, you know, personally, but if I don't, Halo 4 is not going to even be a week old yet, so I'm not going to be dying for a new game. But anyways, guys, I hope these tips do help you, and I do plan on making more of an in-depth video after a couple days of actually playing Black Ops 2. These were just a couple tips that came straight from Vonderhaar himself. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to give it a like rating. I always appreciate it very much. I might also be hosting an open lobby today, which is Saturday. If I do, I'll make a video, you know, like a lot of YouTubers do, just telling you that I am. Because I don't want to force you to have to follow me on Twitter just for this. And I think it just would be more efficient. But anyways, a couple videos on screen if you missed them. Till next time, this is Uncle Kobe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.